This video is sponsored by the birds in my window. Hello guys, welcome to another video. When I was a kid, I always wanted to get superpowers. One of them was reading the future. Maybe you had that dream too. However, mm, we know that that is not possible. Let's today try to fix that. Uh, sort of. Let's try to see the future. Well, at least the future of Swift. Yeah, because the community is working so hard and so fast to bring the best features to our language. Also, I wanted to bring this as a tip for you because, well, it has been a long time without tip in Swift and tips. So this is tip number three. Read the future of Swift. My name is Pete and this, this is Swift and tips. All right, let's jump today to Apple's repository. You will find many cool features here, all the activity related to the development of Swift. So if you want to be up to date about it, you must save this repo in your bookmarks. But for now, let's focus on the main two pinned things here, the repo of Swift, which contains the actual source code of Swift. We will talk about it in a later video because definitely will be really interesting. But now, Let's take a look on the second one, Swift Evolution. As the name suggests, this is the place where all the coming features are being cooking. First, we can see the process if you want to contribute to Swift. Because remember, Swift is an open source project since 2015. If you have a proposal to improve the language, feel free to follow the rules and apply it through a pull request. This is also one cool thing that we can discuss later. This is actually one of my dreams, to contribute to this beautiful language. Anyway, today we will focus on the status page. Let's click here in this link. And there you go. Here you can see what is coming to Swift, what is in review, what features already were accepted by the core team, which features are already implemented in the language, which were deferred because they need some exploration, and finally, the ones that were rejected to many reasons. There is a lot of information, but I wanted to check a couple of the new things coming to Swift. Let's explore today three of them. One that is already accepted and will be part of Swift pretty soon, it's countware. Let's see this one. Basically all the proposals have this format, an introduction, a motivation about why this change is important, details of the implementation, effects of the ABI stability, etc, etc. I wanted to start with this because it's really simple. Let's check it out. The idea with count.where is to avoid the overuse of filter, as you can see here. Because many of you, including myself, yeah, sometimes we require to filter something and then count the final result, right? But, well, we can talk about that later, the overuse of filter. But yeah, it would be really convenient to have something like this in where yeah, we are counting values, but filter by a clause. In this case, it's a closure that is telling us count everything that is greater than zero. And yeah, the result is three. So yeah, it's pretty convenient. Pretty nice, right? Okay, let's see another one. Actors, which is at the moment in review. By the way, here you can see the authors of the proposals. And, and this little guy here, you should know this guy, by the way. If you don't know who he is, check the presentation of Swift in 2014, please. As you can see, this one is way longer than previous one. And it makes sense. Actors are created to protect objects from race conditions and explicitly using self to access properties and methods that will change the values. There is an example using the classic problem with throwing money from a bank from many people at the same time. I recommend you to take your time to read this one because it will be really useful for many implementations involving concurrency. Finally, let's talk about one that is already implemented for Swift 5.5 and is actually long waited for the community. A sync await. I actually read this one entirely some time ago, but I think I have to read it again because, well, the details might not be so obvious by default. However, the motivation is pretty straightforward. 
it's to say goodbye to this kind of implementation, informally called pyramid of doom. Yeah, when you have many closures nested, yeah, it's really complicated to first read this, but second and more important, you know, debugging this or catching errors. Yeah, because you have a lot of dependencies between these things. As you can see here, yeah, if you want to keep guards here, it's really annoying to try to maintain this. So yeah, yeah, you can see more examples here. We do a catch, mm, yeah, not good. So by the end, what we want to keep is something like this. Yeah, the code above is basically the same, but now using a sync and a wait. Definitely, I want to talk more in detail about it. One is available for everyone. But for now, I will leave you in the description a video made by Vincent Pratelis. Sorry, I don't know French. <laughs> that shows a sneak peek of this particular feature. So take your time to see the rules to apply this in your development, because yeah, it will be extremely useful and a great addition to Swift. As you can see, this is the future of Swift. If you want to know before everyone what is coming for the language, this is your place. The Swift community is always generating conversations around this. So definitely this is a good habit for you read this page often. Also, will be a plus for you in an interview showing that you are a person informed about the latest update for the language you are working with. Let me know in the comments or in my Twitter account, Swift and Tips, if you want a video showing and explaining any of these topics in the list. As you can see, it's really simple now to see the future, right? That's it for this video. I know that we just reviewed three new features in Swift, but believe me, there are many of them. And I recommend you to take your time to review these ones that we saw in the video because they are really important. Well, especially async await. So let me know in the comments if you want to talk more about one specific item of the list. That's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe, leave your like, and remember, the future is coming pretty soon. Thank you so much and have a great day.